Posterior urethral valve, or PUV, is a congenital disorder in boys where the posterior urethra, which is the section of the urethra nearest the bladder, is obstructed by membranous folds, or flaps of tissue. These flaps of tissue are collectively referred to as a congenital obstructive posterior urethral membrane, or CUPUM. This blockage means urine can't easily flow out, which leads to a backup of urine which can cause kidney problems, as well as less amniotic fluid which can cause respiratory problems. Although the cause of PUV isn't completely understood, it's thought that normal development of the male urethra is disrupted between weeks 9 and 14 of gestation. Normal development involves the Wolfian duct integrating with the posterior urethra, which results in thin mucosal folds called plici colliculi. It's thought that PUV might result from abnormal integration of the Wolfian duct, resulting in large plici colliculi that fuse anteriorly, making it more difficult for urine to flow through. When that urine can't easily flow out because of increased resistance from the obstruction, the intravesical pressure, or bladder pressure, starts to creep up. Holding urine under higher pressure leads to bladder wall hypertrophy and collagen deposition, both of which thicken the bladder wall. This thickening makes the bladder less compliant, meaning that small increases in urine volume causes large increases in bladder pressure, which makes the problem even worse. That high-pressure urine has nowhere to go but up to the ureters and eventually to the kidneys, causing hydronephrosis, which is the swelling of a kidney due to a buildup of urine. In PUV, since the bladder outlet's obstructed, the hydronephrosis is bilateral, meaning it affects both kidneys. Severe obstruction in utero can also lead to oligohydramnios, which is a low volume of amniotic fluid, since normally a significant proportion of amniotic fluid comes from fetal urine and also that amniotic fluid normally gets breathed into the developing lungs, which helps expand the airways and also provides the amino acid proline, and both of these things are critical to normal lung development. Therefore, with less amniotic fluid, the lungs might not develop completely, called lung hypoplasia, and as a result, some newborns have respiratory distress. Another complication of PUV includes vesico-ureteral reflux, since increased bladder pressure can also lead to dysfunction of the ureterovesical junction, where the ureters enter the bladder, which results in reflux of urine back up into the ureters and the kidneys. PUV also causes urinary stasis, which can allow bacteria to get into the urinary tract and cause a urinary tract infection. Over time, recurring infections and injury to the kidneys can lead to chronic kidney disease, which might progress to end-stage renal disease. Often PUV can be diagnosed by a prenatal ultrasound, which can show a dilated bladder, thickened bladder wall, and bilateral hydronephrosis. If not found prenatally, though, postnatal diagnosis might be done by voiding cystourethrogram, or VCUG, which shows a dilated and elongated posterior urethra. Treatment involves surgery and ablation of the membrane, which allows the urine to flow through unobstructed. Prenatal surgery, though, can be risky, so it's typically reserved for severe cases of oligohydramnios and possible lung hypoplasia. Postnatally, the standard surgery is transurethral catheter ablation. All right, as a quick recap, posterior urethral valve, sometimes more descriptively referred to as a congenital obstructive posterior urethral membrane, is a congenital condition in boys where membranous folds obstruct the normal flow of urine and this leads to bladder outlet obstruction, which causes high bladder pressure, which can cause vesico-ureteral reflux, which results in reflux of urine back up into the ureters and kidneys. That obstruction also, though, leads to urinary stasis, which can lead to recurrent urinary tract infections. Thanks for watching. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.